First of all, I want to express my great disappointment to have put in position today to file, to, uh, file a legal special action against the legislature to compel them to simply do their job. I believe the people expect the leaders to get on with the business at hand. As we near the end of the fiscal year, I think the people of Arizona expect government to work through the process as designed by the Constitution. The people will have little patience for the legislature's misguided ploy to pass legislation, yet refuse to transmit the bills to their governor, which likely could lead to a government shutdown. The legislature's decision to hold these completed budget bills violates the principles of open and accountable government by depriving the executive branch and the general public of a transparent process. So today, I urge the Senate and the House leaders to once again to send me your completed work so that I can do my job. Now, let me also take a moment to focus this morning on what I am fighting for. I've already proposed over $295 million in cuts to education for next year, of which federal stimulus dollars will cover $220 million for one year. Yet the legislature wants to gut education with over $442 million in cuts, which only half is covered by federal dollars. Such drastic cuts would decimate our K-12 education and school system. The legislature wants another $75 million in additional cuts to programs for the elderly, frail, and the most vulnerable population. And those cuts are on top of the $100 million cuts we have already made back in January. While some further reductions will be necessary, such drastic cuts are dangerous 